Dutch Sense here. 4.33 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday, April 3rd, 2013. And I've got you over here on ENE News. I'm going to quickly read this to you. This is a developing story that happened today out of Bayou Corn, Louisiana. Officials report gas is now being detected underneath homes near the giant Louisiana sinkhole. And this broke on the Assumption Parish Police Jury website. They handle all the official business and all the reports for the Bayou Corn situation. 10.45 a.m. this morning, Eastern Time. Texas brine contractors have reported and verified that a home on a slab located on Sauce Picante Lane has the presence of gas under the slab of both the home and the shed. Monitoring will continue to check for gas presence at this location. And then at 11.20 a.m. they updated and it said it has now been reported to the Assumption Parish officials that a second home located on Sauce Picante Lane has had the presence of gas found under the slab of the home. And then at WAFB, their local news, picked it up at 12.13 and ran the story. So let's go over to the Assumption Parish jury and we'll go to their main page. I'll put a link down below to this so you guys can go check it yourself. Here's the stories. And then they put out a distance map showing the homes over here in the upper left-hand corner and then the actual sinkhole is down here. Now that's a pretty low-res image. There's a lot better information that we've put together on this. Jim Lee over at Climate Viewer has done a great job putting all the information onto an interactive map. So let me just go ahead and pause this up really quick, take you over there and show it to you. Okay, I've got you over here and uh, this is what you'll see when you come on to climateviewer.com. Click on 3D and once the map loads, this works just like Google Earth you'll have some different options over here that come up on the left hand side. And we can turn on Bayou Corn, we can also turn on several other options. Uh, I use it for monitoring oil wells and monitoring different frequency locations like radars and antennas, but they have a whole bunch of information in here. So you click on two different things, turn on pollution and disasters, and you turn on the salt dome disasters, and then also turn on Bayou Corn sinkhole and you can expand these out to see the sub options on here which there are several and once that all turns on okay here we go I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the Bayou Corn area and let's go ahead and turn on the oil and gas wells and water wells and the sinkhole information directly so there's a lot of stuff to look at on here uh, when I zoom it in you're gonna see a white outline here that goes down to the actual salt dome complex that's in question. Now over here on the left hand side is basically the picture they have posted on the blog, which is a smaller sinkhole appearing here. It's actually much bigger. It's stretched all the way over here to the road, gone across the grass, gone back here into the woods. And so here are the houses. All right? So underneath the houses now, gas is starting to come up. And when you look at the area, there's a huge amount of oil wells, water wells, salt dome complexes, the whole thing all is tied together in one big dome. And what's happening is it's being pushed up from underneath, per the professionals, that at least a 60 foot rise has happened underneath the salt dome complex. So that's going to cause problems at other locations and they're already talking about that. So we need to be aware anywhere in this area here for sure is now having gas come up and it's starting to build under these houses. So be aware if you live in the area. And let me just back it out here and show you all these green Mr. Yuck signs are different injection wells, different salt dome complexes, and then the black spots are old oil wells or current oil wells. And all the wavy lines are water wells. And it goes all the way over here to New Orleans. Now this salt dome here is not connected to New Orleans directly, but the whole area is experiencing an uplift. We need to be aware that that's a possibility. We could see uh, other areas start to develop problems down the road. Now this area in question itself, they're worried about it going over here to these other domes, which do contain some substances. They're not empty, not all of them. All right, folks, hang in there. Much love. Be safe.